Hello everybody, my name is Chandler Page, and today I will be looking at LEGO Star Wars set number 75038, simply called Jedi Interceptor, but we all know it's Anakin's personal Jedi Interceptor. So, um, the set came out in 2014, and at that point of time it cost 30 euros, which is about the same that you would uh, buy it for right now. Or the newer versions of the same ship. And I got mine for 10 euros. If you include shipping it was 14. Which is like about the same that you'll get it for second hand. It's mostly because they release this set like every 2-3 years. Or like, I mean they have like 3 of the Anakin one. They have 2 Obi-Wan uh, versions and... There, there is an abundance of these, but let's go into the two minifigures, or well, minifigure and astromag droid. Take it out of the way, and start with these two. And it has trouble focusing. Well, let's just start with Anakin first. It's not to focus. So let's take Anakin first. First of all. He is a pretty good minifigure. My camera is having a lot of trouble focusing, but so he's a little bit further than normal. But this is a great figure, and well, the lightsaber was included, but I'll get into that. But it's a pretty good figure. I mean, you have the dark robes. This one uses the dark um, brown pants or legs, and has some printing on those. And for the face. You can see that he has two faces, where they both look well. One is a bit angry. One is like the now the fun begins <laughs> part of the movie, and he has the um, communication thing on his head. But that's it for Anakin. Let's go on to R two D two. It really doesn't want to focus. Okay, so for R2D2, he's primarily white, normal head with like a orangish kind of place on his head. I mean, it's not bad or anything, it's just other than the purple we have right now. But simple astromech uh, things he can do, nothing too much for it. But let's take the ship here. And for this set, I quite like it. It is, well, pretty sizable. Maybe a little bit bigger than it should be, but it's it's amazingly skilled for Lego. Because, well, it's Lego. And it's a perfect example. You have, in the cockpit, you have room for one figure. In this case, Anakin. And you have a couple other features. Let's start with the main feature, which are, in my opinion, the wings, where you can fold them out. And you have it now in its flying mode. And this looks pretty cool, actually, to have it displayed like this. Also, as you can see, it's really sturdy. I'm holding it by the outer parts and it's not falling off. Which is a great thing for Lego. But you can also fold them back in. Um, mine, however, did come without. Or with one less. And so that's on this side. Yeah. This is one I already had from a convention. I found it there in the big box with grab a lot of stuff and go home. And I thought, yeah, I'm going to bring it with me. But as you can see, it has a slightly different print than the other one and that's probably because the print is from a set of a year or two earlier the earlier version probably but for the ship you can move it around and you have these spring loaded shooters where if you press on top of them they shoot them off they shoot pretty hard pretty fast pretty great so <laughs> um 
you also have the little tile which is a uh, print and you have these two which are stickers also nothing much going on on here let's get Anakin in here first of all you can take them off and you see that next to the, pr uh, the sticker that's already there you also have two clips those clips are for the lightsaber where if you take Anakin and you uh, take his lightsaber apart you can have one half the like the hilt on that side the blade on this side like Anakin in a sitting position and you can place him in there now close the <clears throat> sorry now close the lot take R2D2 rotate its head so it's move so it's looking forward place him in the middle and now you have everything contained in the set and I do quite like how low the R2D2 is where if you look at it from this side you don't even see the white which is accurate it does however mean that you see the legs going out from the side which is not ideal as you can see but it's 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 a compromise either to have a full R2D2 in here or just only the head which they could have also done but I do believe that it's better to have a full figure in here at least play wise and to not lose the figure um, then also these guns pretty cool and what the ship also can do although this isn't a feature because it's supposed to be in this um, orientation you can fold them out to make it a little bit more flat which I'll probably never use for engines pretty easy but let's go on to the final part where I will confess my thoughts so for my final thoughts is the set worth it eh, yeah I guess if you can find it for the same price I did where it's like under 15 or something and it's a pretty great set to get but the thing which you'll probably see a lot is that the others are very similar and there will be coming out another one in probably a year or two or three so th they quickly become obsolete where you don't really need them anymore so that's something you have to say also I did I was mi missing some pieces or some pieces were incorrectly uh, located so you can see them right now so these are the pieces in my set that either aren't accurate or yeah they are just like the wrong color these are dark reds should be brown just the wrong piece just an addition these should be silver but they are gray and these are the old gray so all the things that weren't in the set I added myself I did know of the lightsaber and the panel piece but these others are just um, just yeah they weren't in the right position so back to the review and that's something you can expect when you buy a set second hand my seller did already state that some pieces were missing and that's why the price was so low and I accepted that so I knew that okay some pieces will not be in the greatest condition but that's something you also need to be content with but aside from that is it the best version of this ship I don't believe so which is I also don't know that but is it a good version of the ship most definitely am I happy I have it most definitely again and that's yeah it's 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 mostly the part where if you already have one of those ships then there's like no actual need to buy this one if you don't have the Jedi Interceptor from Anakin and you find this one for cheap sure go ahead buy it I now know that I'll probably never buy another version of this ship unless it's 
the special version. So, if you have one, you have enough. That's what I'm trying to say here. But that's everything I want to say for this video. And if you liked it, please make sure to leave a like down in the com uh, leave a like underneath the video. Also, comment which set you want me to review next. Subscribe if you're already um, commenting and liking. Then you you will see more reviews and speed builds I have. Also, there is a speed build from this video of this video. Um, it's in the description down below. I also have an unboxing video where uh, unboxing where I got my package and I was uh, opening it. You can also watch. You can find it on my channel page. And yeah, check out my other videos. And I will hope I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.